with Ramadan, we've reached the point where honestly, we don't know which day we are in Ramadan. Even we usually it's like a feast, you know, when it comes to to breaking our fast, it's like a feast and everyone's excited and everyone's um, ready for the food. But it on, honestly, it all tastes bland. We barely eat anymore because everyone, I think everyone's stressed and, and, and is on anxiety. And um, so, like I said, at times we find, I find myself personally like I'm praying so much because I want this all to end but then at other times I feel like I'm I don't even know which yeah I I forget that Ramadan is still upon us we have been inside for the past four days Uh, my brother occasionally would uh take a walk outside to ensure for example the neighbors are okay if they need uh, electricity because the first day we had electricity um and then we had an outage starting the second day on to until now um, so, and then today he went out to get some supplies because we were starting to run out of supplies. Um, basically, it's a shock. No one knew about it, so no one was prepared. The first day, everyone was still taking in the news. No one had time to really get into, you know, fight or flight mode and prepare themselves for it. We didn't know how long this was going to last. And the military is saying, oh, we've got this under control. It's just going to be a day, a day and something kind of situation. And it lasted obviously longer than they've anticipated at one point you'll find yourself praying a lot to to really be um you know saved and throughout this and and the country to be saved throughout this and then at one time and other times you're too lost in what's happening around you are you going to be okay are your friends going to be okay your family your neighbors even the people you don't really know but you see around in the streets you know